About a third of the way into Laura's adventure, she reaches the area called the Guardian of Summercat, which places test after difficult test in front of you. There are razor traps, then an infernal timed run for the closing door, which we've covered in our first training set. And then, just when you think it can't get any worse, comes the bull. Like Prima's strategy guide says, it's like the running of the bulls at Papona, except without all the hundreds of drunk people getting in your way. One horn-headed smash can easily send Laura home in a body bag, and unfortunately a red cape isn't listed in her inventory. In this part of the adventure, the bull wants you bad. You will hear him before you see him. When you hear the music change, look out. Blammo! Honey, I'm home! Here you want to use a weaving and leaping style of movement in order to escape the bull's sharpened horns. This technique is very useful for dodging other enemies as well. The bull will follow Laura and will lunge either into a wall or toward Laura as she has already made a dodging turn to the left or right. This is very useful in avoiding unnecessary damage. When you get to this boarded up wall, position Laura into either corner and begin jumping straight up. The bull will smash through the wall providing an opening for you to pass. Hey! Thanks bull! What a maroon! After that, wait for the bull to pass. Drop down and sprint ahead of the bull. This works smoothest if you keep pressing and letting go of the sprint button along with the run button. Momentarily safe from the bull, position Laura in front of the eye button, but not directly in front. You can turn Laura sideways to get a wider view and reduce damage to her if the bull makes some contact. Anticipation and reaction after seeing the bull will make or break Laura here. As soon as the bull is in view and charging, Laura performs a sideways jump avoids his royal horniness, and has tricked the bull into activating the first part of her escape. No wonder he's ticked. Two more eye buttons to go. The last two eye buttons are performed in the same manner as the first. The trick is getting some distance away from the eye button and making sure Laura is lined up with it. Naturally, it's best to have the bull behind Laura and then sprint right at it until she's either a little to the left or a little to the right of the center of the eye button. When the bull has successfully rammed the last two eye buttons, this sequence has been completed. Laura easily escapes to the now open passage, leaving a frustrated bull behind.